Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to hopefully sort out problems with not being heard or not being able to hear people in Discord chat on Android. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to hopefully sort out problems with either you not being heard or not being able to hear people or just being kicked out of Discord chats. Now, most of this is down to the Discord app and the way it works on Android. Now, today we'll be using the Xiaomi Mi A2 phone, which is running the current version of Android 10. This is at the beginning of May 2020. So obviously, if you're watching this a little bit later and your version is slightly different, or you're using a different version of Android, then you may need to find these options in a slightly different place. But that being said, let's get straight into it and see what we can do to change the settings. Okay, so the first thing to do is to find your Discord app and find the shortcut to it. Now, on my desktop, it's on the top, so I'm just gonna press and hold the button until the app info menu comes up. Click on app info, and then this takes you into all the settings for Discord. So you've got things on there like force stop, uninstall, open, etc. But we've also got some other really important things like notifications, permissions, which is a really important one, storage and cache, which again is very important. Those are gonna be the ones we're gonna look at mostly in this particular video. So the first one is to go into permissions. And when you open this, there's two sections. There's an allowed section, and there's also a denied section. Now, ideally, you want all of the options to be in the allowed option. The contacts one, you can leave out if you wish to. It doesn't really make much difference on that. Um, that isn't actually part of the app at the moment, but it may be in the future. But if for some reason you've got your camera, microphone, or storage, and they're not in the allowed section, you will need to change that. So all you need to do is click on the individual piece. So I'm gonna click on camera, and I'm gonna click on deny, and then I can go back, and now you can see the camera is now shown in the deny section. So we're gonna do the same for microphone, and then go back, and we're gonna do the same for storage. So once you've got all of those in the denied section, you can then re-allow them. And what this does is it just resets a trigger in the app to allow those features to work within the app. So go through one by one. I'm not gonna do the contacts one. Microphone, click on allow, then go into storage and click on allow. So at the end, you should end up with three items in the allow section, which is camera, microphone, and storage. All three of these are really, really necessary for the app to work properly. Another way of doing this is to remove the app in its entirely, do a complete uninstall, and then reinstall the app, and then when Android asks for permissions, access to your mic, access to storage, etc., click on yes to allow it to have access. That should then sort out the problems with the mic or the speakers not having full access to the Android system, which is then causing you problems being heard or hearing people in Discord calls. Now, another thing we can try doing is we go back and go into storage and cache. Now the cache sometimes gets corrupted or there's junk in there which you don't necessarily need and it also can get corrupted so it prevents some of those permissions working. So again, although we've actually reset permissions, it's probably a good idea to clear the cache and clear the storage. So first of all, we're gonna clear the storage and it says you can delete app data, so we'll click on okay and that'll get rid of some of the app data and it'll also clear the cache. If there are some items you want to keep in the storage, you can just click on the clear cache icon. That will clear the cache, and then once it's done that, probably a good idea to give the phone a reboot and then go back into the Discord app. And you should find that everything works fine from then on. If not, then you may have some other deeper rooted problems, which may be either hardware or software. Ideally, if it's to do with voice applications, get rid of as many other voice applications as you can. So things like anything like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, anything which uses those protocols. We try and remove them and see which one is actually conflicting with Discord. Obviously, if Discord is really important to you, then you can get rid of the other ones relatively easily and vice versa. If you don't really use Discord a great deal, but it's conflicting with other apps such as WhatsApp and Facebook, then you can get rid of it and that will possibly solve the problem. But anyway, there's some uh, little tips on how to get your microphone working and your earphones or headset working with your Android 10 device with the Discord app. If you've got any comments or questions, stick them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.